So if I ask you, can you build around someone who has value on this slate? Matt, you would say what? So DeAndre Ayton is questionable, and I don't know if we'll get that news in time to make a reaction before lock. And the Suns and Clippers also play at 1030, which is a total island game. Um, this actually happened the other night. McGee was $3,400 as DeAndre Ayton's backup and put up nearly 50 fantasy points with only a 14% ownership number in the largest tournament because no one had the ability to swap to him. So you really needed to plan ahead if you wanted to play McGee. Um, fortunately, we have guys like Brandon Boston, who Julian mentioned before, um, where if you put McGee in the utility spot, you can just take him instead if Aiton's in. Um, but I, McGee at $4,000, like if Aiton's not there, I think he's a better value than even Brunson. So uh, we don't know that news yet. We may not know it until well after lock, but I think JaVale McGee potentially winds up being the best value play on the slate. Jules, hook me up here, dude. Yeah, Matt Matt hit on it. Um, when you have the ability, you know, we can talk about the values, whatever. Brandon Boston, Jalen Brunson, Marvin Bagley, um, they're great. But what makes them better than, you know, an 80, 90% Jalen Brunson is having a 14% JaVale McGee. So, yeah, you want to keep your utility open to react to news tonight is the best value that you can you can possibly get. Um, Timothy Luau Kabarit is another guy, TLC on Atlanta a name you can throw out there. Um, but we've touched on a lot. Here, I'll give you a value to fade. Ooh. Xavier Tillman is a guy that's been doing really well, but he's getting limited minutes, and his matchup is going to be Joel Embiid. He could be off the floor in foul trouble four minutes into the game, and you've got a guy you think is going to go 8x, and uh, he winds up getting like 12 DraftKings points against Embiid. 